Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out hi guys welcome back to my channel so i have a lace frontal series and this is part three i know but part one two and four are gonna come like every week so i'm starting with part three what i'm gonna do is construct the wig for you guys to see so these are the stuff that i'm gonna be using to make the wig um this is this wig is actually for a friend and she sent in her own bundles and her frontal where she died so there's a few like black um spots on the lace so that's fine it's good it's not going to show anyway so yeah um what i'm doing now is pinning my wig cap onto my mannequin head and i'm going to take a tape measure and measure sorry the measurements from her ear to ear was 11 and it's actually the same as mine so i'm going to fold that into two and get five and a half and put five and a half in the middle then i can start from one to 11 so this is where like her ear tabs are going to start from and you want to mark that with a chalk so this is the frontal i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to fold it into two and then wherever the middle of the frontal is i'm going to place it in the middle of the cap and then pin that down So when you're placing your frontal, you want to make sure you pull it forward slightly um, above the wig cap. You don't want to place it exactly where the wig cap starts. You want to push it down slightly. Then you can go ahead and pin it. And then after you've pinned the front and the back, you want to pin the ear tab. So remember, you already have you have your guide now. So everyone's hair is different. So once you have your guide, you can just place the the ear tabs on where the guide is supposed to be so you do that for the left and then you do that for the right side as well now that the frontal is out of the way you want to start um, stitching it down so hopefully i can do another video on like how to actually stitch but then this video is not going to be about stitching so um a lot of things are going to be fast forwarded but then i just want you guys to get the idea of how like a frontal wig is made so you want to stitch the frontal down and usually what i'll do is after stitching the frontal down most people cut the thread i don't i'll just continue fixing the the weave like right ahead so th this is what i do i push the needle through and then i join it to the frontal with the same thread and then i stitch it down i stitch it down again and then i can go ahead and start sewing so usually when i do this it's way faster for me i don't have to be cutting threads and trying to seal and do all of that so this um process is way like kind of faster for me so yeah um basically the rest of the video is just going to be me stitching back and forth so yeah you just want to stitch and you want to have even spaces through every stitch so one critical thing you guys need to notice um when you're sewing on the parts where the elastic band is the very big band around the wig cap you don't want to sew through the elastic band you just want to be picking as you're sewing just pick the lace and sew if you sew through the band the wig is going to be too tight and no it's actually going to be small that it won't fit your head it'll probably have to fit maybe a little baby's head or something but yeah so make sure you stay away from the band as much as possible so now when you get to the end i don't cut my wefts and i don't think you guys should either so all you have to do is join the hair to the frontal again and then you want to fold over the left and pin it so these are what the t-pins are for this is like having t-pins and clips and everything it helps like you work um more efficiently more faster and then it's just less like frustrating so 
you still continue sewing just through the lace and not the elastic band so you're gonna do that and you're gonna sew all the way to the top so yeah I'm gonna fast forward everything so you guys should just like enjoy the video I'll come back when I need to say something okay so sometimes like the hair is way too much for you to fit into one wig so i'm going to show you guys how you can double your weft so when you double it you don't want to fold over like the doubled weft it's going to make it too bulky so what you want to do is when you're getting close to where you have to fold it over you want to open it up and then take the first one and pin it up then stitch the second one down so when you stick the, stitch the second one down, you're going to fold it over and then you're going to join it to the first one. Then you're going to sew both of them together. I hope I'm explaining it well enough, but then if I'm not, um, you guys can still watch the video and understand what I'm saying. So for your final stitch, you're actually going to be sewing it together with the frontal so that um, when you brush the frontal over, it goes over it flat. You don't want to leave space between the weft and the frontal. You want to sew it together with the frontal. I'm going to have a closure video as well. So hopefully with that, I can go in depth with, with um, stuff like that. But then, yeah, um, making a wig is basically one procedure over and over and over and over again so you get to the top and this is a final well the semi-final look i have the final um look in next week's video which is part four so don't forget to stay tuned and if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please subscribe i have like more of this coming pretty soon so yeah um i'll see you guys in next week's video bye